so on Monday, Vera left Pakistan and went back to Scotland. When she got back to Scotland on Tuesday, I asked her how her flight was and she said it was okay. And she said I'm welcome to come visit her. So two days later on Thursday, I'm gonna catch the flight because I got one day off. One day off tomorrow on Friday and then I have to be back on Saturday at 12 noon. Well, I arrived here in Edinburgh Friday morning at 7 o'clock, cleared immigration and everything, 8 o'clock right now, so I'm going to head into the city and explore the city for the second time after being here nine years ago. This is one thing you can do here in Edinburgh, the zoo, it takes about three and a half hours to visit it and there's a lot of things to see in it, so uh, if you have time you can do that for a nice day. I've been walking for about two hours and finally I go around the corner and here it is. Edinburgh Castle. Here we have Hunter's Coaches. After walking for two hours, I finally made it to the castle here in Edinburgh, <laughs> into the Royal Mile.
Oh, okay. This is my return flight. Yeah. Hey, Farah. Hi. How's it going? <laughs> Good. So, where are we headed? Uh, just to a little doggy park. <laughs> All right. In Edinburgh. What are we going to do? Uh, just meet my sister and then probably go up Arthur Sea or something like that. All right, sounds good. We have a little picnic. Yeah, brought some fruit <laughs> That's from good. Spanish fruit. <laughs> oh, we did. What like what? Peaches and nectarines. Mm, all right. Yeah, Farah's sister. What's your name? Parisa. Teresa? Parisa. Oh, Parisa. Okay. What's the name of your dogs? This is Millie. Millie down here. And um, oh, Freddie. And See, Freddie. Bothering you down there. Freddie is. Freddie, bring the ball back. Come on. This way. Come on. There's Good Freddie. <laughs> this is the worst time to come to the park. Ah. Uh. No. Hey, Freddy. So, Freddy is an active dog. <laughs> come on, Freddy. Freddy, come on. Have you got his ball? Yeah, he's, he's chewing on it right now. Freddy, bring it back. <laughs> come on. Freddy, come on. Freddy, come here. Freddy! Freddy, come here. Come on. Freddy, come here. Come on. Come here. He's occupied. I'll, I'll, I'll get the ball here. It's, he, it's impossible <laughs> to get it off of him. Oh. Well. Come here. Freddy, come here. Put it down. Freddy, Put it down. Come here. Freddy, come here. Drop it. Freddy. Okay. <laughs> That's disgusting. Look at this. Ew. Go fetch. Ah, <laughs> oh, he's a playful dog. <laughs> Good job. Bring it back, Freddy. <laughs> oh, his mother wants to like be with me all the time. And you know what, it's like the suckles as well. It shouldn't be apart from its mum until it's nine weeks. What can I do? We've looked around for its mum. Because we have to learn basic social manners from the puppies and the mum. So it's going to be a bit <laughs> <laughs> Seven months old, huh? I mean, seven weeks old. Oh, seven weeks? Yeah. Oh, wow, that's super really young. That's so young. It's only this size. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and the picture that looks bigger because it's... Yeah, yeah, I know, it looked bigger in the photo. Although it gets, it's getting so big. Every day, like, it used to be the size of my hand. Now it's really got a head. Freddy! I'll take that. Freddy was so small. See, when he was a puppy, he was like, fit in my palm, literally, when I got him. And he was nine weeks. So imagine, if your one's growing, no. <laughs> so when I came back from Pakistan, yeah. when I came back to the UK, I just thought that I stepped into a magazine. Like it was, it's just so pretty and pristine and lush and green and mm. oh, it's so beautiful. Summer helped. Oh yeah, <laughs> for <laughs> sure. Is that? Who's Adam Smith? He's the father of economics. <laughs> All right, and we'll see a statue. Uh, yeah, All and right. his, uh, I think his grave is. I don't know exactly where, but it's um, it's in Edinburgh as well. So. Mm, All right. He was originally from here, right? Yeah. Yeah. There it is. Steep 
walk so we can go further up. Mm, all right. Some something going on at the palace because um, there's trees all around. Now is that what it so is? So this is a ruin of a chapel up there. Hmm. This is a nice walk in between. You know that I was walking up here a few years ago. Yep. And you know who passed us? No. Um, Someone famous? Yeah. Well, what's his name? Wait a minute. Oh, David Hasselhoff. And his, like, little wife. Like, she's so <laughs> tiny and she was so, like, fit and, like, plastic oh, surgery. I've, I've met him, too, when he came off his jet in yeah. Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> so. A lot of people feed the, the birds here, but um, it attracts lots of, you know, vermin and stuff, so. I've seen a few rats here. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I don't know if we can get up there. Well, that was a really good idea on Tuesday. We were chatting and you said you wanted to hike Arthur's seat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking about it and I, last time I was here nine years ago, I didn't get the opportunity to do it. Uh, so now you get to hike it too. And it's a beautiful day, so. Yeah, it was good timing. So in Pakistan, when you ask for a salad at a restaurant, uh, basically there's two kinds of salads. There's one where you get one tomato sliced uh, and a bit of cucumber sliced and a bit of daikon sliced and that's it and you're there or pasta covered in mayonnaise oh, yeah. like covered in mayonnaise with some corn and that's oh. their salads and what else is on there it's called what was the interesting name well, oh, muli. muli they call it muli but it's, so actually... what, it's like that white carrot right yeah, yeah. Um. Uh, so you don't need you don't eat much salads and uh, you have to make it at home uh, and there's hardly any olives available there's no avocado not uh, at all can't you go to like a chic market and find it um, you get a few up market um, what do you call it supermarkets but they're not always that good because they're imported so uh, okay. and you know the quality is not that great mm. so. so what are we eating here delicious vegetarian haggis baked potato <laughs> that's pretty good so baked potato, haggis, and uh, the yellow. Oh yeah, I don't know what that is. The corn. Some corn of corn slaw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. What's your favorite juice, Vera? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's not my favorite juice. Oh, it's not? <laughs> Probably orange juice. I love orange juice. That's so plain, though. Oh, that's so fresh, and like, uh -huh. when you squeeze it yourself. Okay. But my favorite fruit is watermelon. Oh my god, I could just... You wouldn't believe how much I can eat. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen a square watermelon? A square? Yeah. No. No. They have those in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now, what about this cane juice? Yeah, so, um, depends where you are, actually, because some people add milk to it, some people add lemon, lime. Really? Well, I've had it um, with lemon and ginger, and huh. it's actually very nice. And you make that yourself? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I got a machine, sugarcane machine, and uh, yeah, I didn't put it through myself. We have uh, workers to do that for us, <laughs> because in these countries you have things called servants, which is not politically correct, but that's what they call them. That's pretty good. <laughs> but I, I call them helpers. Yeah. Can we go this way? But there's an event there in the palace. So that's the Queen's Palace here. She stays here when she comes to visit. Then next to that, the ugly building, <laughs> that's the Parliament. And then where well, you see the clocks behind that, that's the Balmoral Hotel. And that's the start of Princess Street. And then on your far left, that's the castle. You can see with the flag. All right, have you met any royalty? Not from this country. <laughs> oh, you haven't? What about, oh, okay. That's what I was asking. <laughs> The fair decided to stay behind and wait for me at the midway point as I continue to the very top. So I'm here at Arthur's Seat in Edinburgh, Scotland. I had just had a day off, so I decided to fly over to Europe, visit this place, and then fly back tomorrow morning. So not too bad for my day off, because I was so bored in New York City. The Lebanese salads are amazing. Yeah, but you're just experiencing the cuisine of all different types of countries in that one city. <laughs> yeah. You think you would like Lebanon then? Oh, yeah. Oh. It wasn't so dangerous. Oh. You think it's dangerous right now? Maybe I'll go to Lebanon. Uh... <laughs> go to Beirut, the center of it all. <laughs> I want to. Yeah, I've seen them too. I wonder if you can ever find an Afghani restaurant. Have you seen one of those? Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you drive to London every now and then, right? Oh, I used to drive a lot. How long is that trip? Usually about between five and seven hours. Well, it's all day trip, man. Yeah, it's very tiring. <laughs> I mean, I plan to make a Easter video, like Pakistani video, and an Iranian one as well. That should be fun. How long? Like ten minutes long? Mm, might be longer. Or maybe I'll cover the segments, but you know, different yeah. topics and things. So. Oh, okay. Hey, do you think Scotland will ever become its own nation? I know people are pushing for it, but I'm, I'm fine the way it is, to be honest. <laughs> oh yeah? What about Northern Ireland? Do you think they'll become part of Ireland? Well, that would be nice if they were to unite, but I don't think that will ever happen. There's there's too much trouble between them. Mm, okay. So what do you consider Scotland in relation to the UK? Well, when I tell people when I travel around and they're like, where are you from? And I say Scotland, they have no idea where that is. Many, many people. And they think that... And the people who do know, they think that you have to get a separate visa to go to Scotland. Oh. Oh, this is pretty area. <laughs> well, this is a pretty nice area. You know, that when I first... <laughs> oh, you got a phone call? Okay, stop. <laughs> Hello? 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 Telemarketer? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> and we have an Apple store as well on your left. Mm. The first one. 
first one in Edinburgh. I remember the first time I saw your profile on Couchsurfing. <laughs> I remember this, that sentence you wrote, you said, I can't believe that I'm 26, but I still feel like I'm 17. <laughs> yeah, I'll always be 17 in my mind. You still feel like that? Um, yeah, pretty hmm. much. Yeah. That's pretty good, but not today, huh? <laughs> today I feel like a grandmother, not being able to climb Arthur's seat. Oh, well. oh, it's just because you came back on Tuesday. You can blame jet lag. Yeah, I'm still That's jet That's a good lagged. excuse. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you want to sit on that side? Okay. No, no, yeah, oh. So five things that you usually travel with. Oh no, you need to come closer. Oh. Okay, right there? Oh, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Repeat the question. Or... I don't think I asked you yet. <laughs> How's that? Is that good? Yeah, it's a bit far away though. Okay, well, yeah. Like that? What are some essentials that you travel with? Oh, essentials? Always carry a towel because you can't rely on your host offering you a towel. <laughs> okay. Alright, uh, if you're going to um, be so sustainable, carry a small sleep bag and also a tent if you want to do that way. But really, um, I think traveling without a tent is sometimes better because you want to travel as light as possible. You don't want to stick out as a backpacker because mm -hmm. I'm. Even though I'm traveling to all these countries, I try not to fit the backpacker profile. Yeah. Because they tend to sometimes get targeted, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. So I carry a school backpack and more, mm -hmm. I more blend in like I'm going to school or home. Yeah. Of course, I'm white, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what other things? Take notes during your travels because 10 years down the road, you won't remember. Mm -hmm. Try to learn from the culture. Try to have something that you want to bring back from the whole experience. Like a lot of people write books from their experience or have, the, you should have, when you go out to uh, visit all the countries, which is recommended I think, you should try to a achieve something that you want to bring back from the whole experience. Mm -hmm. How about technology, like what, what gadgets do you take with you? Well I'm into making documentary videos, so I like to get people's opinions. So things I focus on is uh, landscape, scenery, uh, people I meet along the way, and places I eat at, places I stay at, um, places I visit. Mm -hmm. But yeah, everyone I meet along the way becomes active in the video. <laughs> <laughs> you keep a blog then, and uh, do you have a YouTube channel? Yeah, I got a YouTube channel, it's just my first and last name, but I don't really actually vlog. I just write notes about my travels and I'm generating a book that I want to make at the end. But I've seen it online, what's that? A blog? Oh, that's just a photo blog. Okay, that's good. So what's, your, what's that? Oh, it's travel196.weebly.com, and so I'll post 20 to 30 photos from each country I visited, mm -hmm. of the best photos. Mm -hmm. Usually, now my host at the top, and then things that I've seen towards the bottom. What's your accommodation to use? Is it and Airbnb hotels or...? When I first started, I would stay at hostels. Mm -hmm. And I did that for about six months. And then somewhere along the lines, here in Edinburgh actually, I met this Lat Latvian girl. Mm -hmm. And she recommended me Hospitality Club. I didn't really think about it that much. And then a month later, I was doing my own research and I came across Hospitality Club and I was like, oh, I should try it. I thought, initially, I thought it was these hotels that were free, but mm. that wouldn't make sense, of, of course. <laughs> <laughs> then I read the gist of it and I figured it out. So then I tried my first experience in Riga, Latvia. What's the system then? Well, what happens is that it's a global exchange of people who like traveling, and so you come to visit their country, they host you, and you, you, they visit your country, you host them. Mm -hmm. But if you can't host, you can show them around the city, which is equally as good. And then if you don't have that much time, you can just recommend to them what to see. So it's a bit like couch surfing. Yeah, it's a bit like couch surfing. Okay. It was the original idea, right. and then couch surfing became more popular. So is that what you use most of the time then? Yeah, then I switched over to Couchsurfing because it was more popular mm -hmm. and it was growing. And then there's also another website called bewelcome.org. Mm -hmm. And then I use that also because that's more of the original uh, members from that idea. Because mm -hmm. they believed that Couchsurfing became too 
commercialized these days. Mm -hmm. But for me, I don't mind. I just want to connect with the local culture. By uh, connecting with local hosts, the reason I do that is not really to save money, but rather to um, make my travels more interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because going to a hostel might be easy and convenient, but what I do is I'll send out messages to 20 people and maybe only three re reply. And then out of three, I'll choose one or two. To, I'll, I'll usually choose one and one as a backup in mm -hmm. case the first one fails. So then I'll get their uh, contact information and once I arrive in the country, it gives me a mission. So my mission is to find their place. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to go over the obstacles of language barrier and public transportation. And once I find their place, I stay there a maximum of three days. You don't want to stay longer than three days. At one okay, why? Well, most people get tired okay. of hosting over three days. Yeah. That's just a general statement. Mm -hmm. Unless you get along with them, you can stay longer. But and then they'll usually recommend me what to see in their city. I'll go out and see it. Whether they have time, they'll show me around. If not, I'll go on my own. Mm -hmm. Sometimes an attractive advantage of staying with a host is that they'll host others, so then you'll have a travel companion. Mm -hmm. like the, 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 the hairy ones. Hey, so thanks for inviting me for one day. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fun journey up to Arthur's seat. Thanks for flying six hours and 11 minutes. And change, yeah. <laughs> I liked your mom's reaction, or your grandmother's reaction. What did you think about it? What do you think that you came all the way over from New York for one day? Duff. What's the kind of a lot of money for one day? Oh god. Well, you, you know. must be loaded. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what that means? Yeah. <laughs> Good luck to you. <laughs> you can do it. Well, you know, just across the pond, I'm on the east coast, you're on the west coast of Europe, so... He wants to visit the whole world. He wants to visit every country. Cool. That's cool. 196 countries. You manage it? I think so, we'll see. How many visitors oh, so far? 135. 135 he's been to. How already. many countries are you planning going to? Like all of them? Every single country? Yeah. How many have you got left? Yeah, 61. Oh, that's okay. You're yeah. Totally doable. <laughs> 61. <laughs> They're just hard to reach. Mm. Yeah. Africa will be exciting. Yeah, like the Congo. Congo. <laughs> and Johannesburg. Mm -hmm. Oh, I passed through there. It was so scary. Was it? Yeah, I was in the bus, though. But if I was outside, oh man, I don't think I could handle it. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, I'm glad the weather was nice. Because mm. Scotland's so known for its rain. <laughs> they call it liquid sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say are the three most important things to visit when you're in Edinburgh? Of course, we did the first one. Yeah, I mean, uh, Arthur's seat's a good one. You yep. have a view of the whole city. Uh, the castle is also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the third one, Royal Mile. Royal Mile, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. very touristic. Or old time in general. Yeah. Right. The meadows on a sunny day. Oh, what's the meadows? So that's more for the locals. It's a big park oh. where all, usually all the students go and things. Barbecue Central. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, How about the zoo? Yeah, it's got it's a nice hill you can walk yeah. up. Uh, and the then... botanical gardens? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're nice. So nice. Mm -hmm. Carlton Hill is nice as well. Carlton Hill? Yeah. I didn't, uh, what's that? It's, it's a... the. Um, it's just like a hill that's got like an old, like half built Greek monument on it. Yeah, it's the one I showed you from. It's called ah. the Shame of Edinburgh. Was that what it's called? Yeah, the Shame, because they ran out of money oh. when they were building it. <laughs> they, say, <laughs> they say that. Um, Edinburgh is like the Athens of the North. I think that's why he started building that. What? <laughs> <laughs> is it really the Athens of the North? Apparently. <laughs> Without the sun. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then they have uh, St. Petersburg is the Venice of the North. Mm. Yeah. So I guess uh, all of those attractions, maybe I'd be interested in the meadows. It's kind of like a park. I like parks. I think you'd like Carlton Hill oh. as well. Carlton Hill too? Yeah. Okay. So it's quite central, it's actually near here. Mm. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about Loch Ness? It's a bit overrated. It's overrated? Yeah. Have you seen it? I've seen the lake. Oh, obviously not. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, how many times have you gone up there? Oh, Numerous? Many, many, oh. many times. I mean, sometimes you just drive past it, we don't even stop. I yeah. see all the time that happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Loch Ness, fabulous. Okay. <laughs> and then they got the statue. Yeah, yeah. 
they've changed it recently. Oh, they have? Yeah, and <laughs> it's more touristic now. So where, when did legend develop? I don't really know the history uh. to it. No? Kyle? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no? some say that um, it's true and it uh, comes from a black hole or something. There's a black hole there. <laughs> oh, black hole? In the lake? Yeah. Huh. Or, yeah, must be in the lake. <laughs> <laughs> That's conspiracy theories. So. Yeah, that could be. It's just a story to quite honest with you. Mm. It could be. Mm. Yeah. To bring tourists. Hmm. How many tourists come here per year during the summer? Um, our population doubles apparently to a million. Well, half a million tourists. Half a million tourists come here every year? Well, that's a big chunk. It could be more. For Christmas, the festival, and then summer. When's the festival? August. So well, oh. we have we have quite a few, we have a few festivals, but they start in June and they run all the way to September. Yeah. Mm, all right. But the main is the Fringe Festival. That's the main arts festival. Which one? Fringe. fringe oh, Fringe. Festival. Okay. What about this tattoo thing that's happening? Oh, that's in August as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, but military tattoo. Yeah. The castle. But that's something to do with the military. Mm -hmm. They kind of march and parade with their mm. backpacks. Yeah. Oh, okay. And mm. huh, so, sinks. yeah. <laughs> so I noticed both of you like traveling. Who was who got the first idea to travel? It's not really an idea. I think <laughs> <laughs> we just as um, soon as I was like seventeen, I was like, I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, we had like family holidays and things, but um, I think once we were able to be more independent, we just went off and done our own traveling and things. So you both enjoy it. What about it? so your parents kind of like initiated the whole idea? I don't know. My father likes to travel a lot and he, mm. he constantly does so. Because we used to go to France, remember? Because mum was obsessed with the South Yeah, France. my mum loved France. So like, every opportunity we would go to France. Like drive, like, is any, like for like two days or a day, we drive. We break down. Yeah, <laughs> so do you think you'll make it to all the continents? You're pretty close, right? Yeah, I don't know actually because I, I don't think I ever want to go to Australia. Why? I just cannot stand many things about that country. <laughs> Why? Why? I don't want to get into it because if you put this on the internet, they're, <laughs> they're going to hate me, so I'm not going to say anything. I've had very bad Australian experiences oh, okay. without even going there. Yeah. A lot. Oh, so you got North America, Europe, Africa, Asia. You're willing to go to Antarctica? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> huh? So you put that on the list along with Australia. I'd like to go to South America. I so that's probably your next one, I bet. Mexico. I really want to go to um, Brazil and Chile. I'd like to go there as well. And Easter Islands? Mm, yeah. Yeah? I'd like to go to so Ecuador to see the oh. Bolican people. <laughs> that's, that's a hot spot for the raw fooders. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah, a friend of mine went and he's like, they're just hippies, like, roam yes. around Tuesday. Just hippies, like they roam around the in their bare feet and they don't wash and... <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean the originals, I want to go see the original people. Because that actually they're in a book I'm reading, <clears throat> um, Healthy at 100. And mm. they analyze four or five uh, cultures that are, they they live to 100 and they're all fine, they're all healthy. Mm. So one of them's the Hunzins, right. another's Philokabamban. And there's one or two in Japan as well. Oh, okay. And one in Russia. Oh, what part of Russia? I don't know, I'm, I've not got to that bit You yet, haven't gotten to that section? Okay. <laughs> I'm still on the hundreds. Oh, okay. <laughs> I said I'm reading the book, I don't say I'm finished. <laughs> hey, so there's a possibility you might be going to the base of K2, huh? Possibly, but I don't know if that's going to happen. I'm not really into mountains. You're not into mountains? I love mountains. <laughs> and I'm not that healthy. You can see I can barely hike up Arthur C. <laughs> <laughs> really, I was so tired and he's like, you're tired already. Really Is that just uh, one day occurrence or that's all the time? I didn't sleep that much last night and mm. I mean, we just ate, so... Yeah, that too. You, have to, you usually get thirsty, so tired after eating. It's a combination. Hmm. But usually I'm okay. I like to walk and hike and things. So. When was the last big hike you've done? Um, Did you ever hike? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I've had a large hike. <laughs> the top of our seat a few years ago. <laughs> How about you? Have you hiked? Um, up north in Scotland. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Glencoe. Really? Yeah, in Virginia. For how long? A weekend. Mm, it okay. was for, I think it was for someone's birthday. 
Yeah. Mm. Um, I have an auntie. Oh yeah, she loves. Who? Skating. Yeah, she hikes all around Scotland. Hmm. Like she's went every weekend. Yeah, she hikes for miles and miles and miles. She's amazing, but she's very fit. Mm, okay. She looks amazing. How about biking? Yeah, I like to. Yeah. I like kind of short things, you know, not days and days or miles and miles. <laughs> <laughs> I get bored of it. I'm like, okay, my legs are killing me now and I'm, I'm bored of the scenery. Can we move on? <laughs> mm. Can I see you again, Vera? Yes, goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. So this is the third time I've seen you in the second country. Third time? Yeah, twice in Florida. 2013 and 14. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh my so when's the next time I'll see you? We'll be in Pakistan. <laughs> Alright, third country. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. You'll be there right before winter hits, right? Yeah, September. September. Okay. Bye. Here we have the statue of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, who was Sherlock Holmes here in Edinburgh. It's a famous statue here, dedicated in memory of him and all his work he did in solving mysteries, basically. Well, my day trip to uh, Scotland has been enjoyable here in Edinburgh. Went to see a few things and did some hiking and walked. Why are you talking this year? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's pretty much it. So I head back tomorrow morning, 26 hour trip in Edinburgh. It's 5.45 in the morning, I have to head to the airport. But oh man, it's raining. I'll be a wet dog when I get there. So that was it. That's what a 26 hour trip to Europe looks like. I'm gonna battle the drizzle here and the rain to catch a bus up to the airport. Should make it there in time since my flight departs at 9.15.